let's talk about estimating roots. Now, this is a little bit more of a complicated trick because there's no set formula to estimating square roots. This trick can get you pretty close to the actual square root, but chances are you're not going to get it perfect every time. Now, finding the square root of something like 4 is extremely easy. It's just 2. But what if we had to find the square root of 123? This is really hard to find the square root 4. Because we know it's close to 11, but we don't actually know what it might be. So to find the square root, we know it's around 11. So we can say it's 11.1. But it can get a slightly, but it can get a little bit crazier than this. What if we have something like this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, you're not going to actually try and find the square root. If you had a calculator, it would be a lot simpler. But there has to be a trick. So you first take two numbers out. Then you take in other two numbers out. Then, you're going to take the square root of the 12. The square root of the 12 is about 3, and we don't actually know what it is, but let's say it's 3.4. It could be something else, but we just want to get close. Then, for the terms that we took away, so these four terms, the number of times we took away two terms, we're going to add zeros. So, our answer will be 340. Now, I know that was really complicated, so let's look at another example. So, let's say we have square root of 1, 3, 7, 4, 5. Finding the square root of this would be really, really difficult. So, again, we're going to take away two of the numbers. So, we don't have to worry about the 45 at all. So, we just have to find square root of 137. This is really close to 144, which is 12 square root. And it's uh, quite a quite a bit far away from 11 squared, 121. So we it has to be around, we'll say 11.7 or 11.8. I'm not actually sure, but let's just say it's 11.7. Here we took away one pair of numbers. So we're going to move the decimal point one time. So this will be 117. Now, if you were wondering, the actual square root of 13745 is 117.24. So, the answer that we got is really, really close. And for the last one that we did, which was 123456, the actual square root was 351.36. Now, this one wasn't as close, but... We estimated it at around 3.4. So if we had put 3.5, we would have gotten 350. So it's, it's, it's pretty close either way. So let's look at another example. Let's say we have square root of 6, 4, 3, 8, 2, 1. So again, we can remove pairs of digits. So we can remove one pair and it's really hard to find the square root of that. So let's remove another pair. So we can just disregard this. So we have square root of 64. This is 8. And we removed two pairs of digits. So we're going to add two zeros. So that basically means I moved the decimal place twice. So our answer is 800. The actual answer would have been 802.38 and a lot more digits. Now, this trick can be used for more than just square roots. It can be used for cube roots. So let's say we have cube root of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And let's just add one more number just for, just for fun. So instead of removing pairs of digits, we're going to remove triples of digits. So we're going to remove three digits at a time. And so we disregard this. So we have cube root of 345. Now, if you've memorized your cubes, then you should know that 7 cubed is 343. So this is around 7. 
Now, we removed three digits. That corresponds to one zero. The actual answer would have been 70.18. Let's get one more example. Let's say we have cube root of 9, 3, 2, 1, 8, 3, 4, 2. So again, we're going to remove three three digits at a time this time. So that's one pair of three digits, and that's a second pair of three digits. So we have cube root of 93. Now the closest cube that we have to this is 64, which is 4 cubed. So this is between 64 and 125. I'd say this is around 4.5 because 93 minus 64 is around 29 and 125 minus 93 is around 32. So it's 4.5, 4.6. So let's just say it's 4.5. So this is equal to 4.5 and we move two pairs. So we move the decimal to the right twice. So this is our answer. The actual answer would have been 453.42. Now, estimating roots can be a little bit tricky, so this requires a lot of practice. I've linked the practice worksheet and its answers in the comment section, so make sure to check those out.